Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Venom Contender 2.0 boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Venom Contender 2.0 boxing gloves. I got mine in 14 ounces. It's a Velcro closure only glove and I got mine in kind of this uh, camouflage maroon and black colorway. Um, you can get this anywhere between 18 and 16 ounces. And as far as designs and colors, they have several different kinds. I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Just check out the Venom website um, and you can see the designs there. Now, the Contender 2.0 is going to be the successor to the original Contenders, which is also uh, what I would consider Venom's most entry-level glove. This is a glove that you can typically find at the sporting goods stores, Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, wherever it may be. This is the glove that Venom offers for those of you that are on a budget or those of you that are just starting off in boxing and you don't want to break the bank for a boxing glove. Now, uh, this glove is made in Pakistan. It does use, utilize a synthetic polyurethane, uh, you know, basically faux leather. And it also utilizes uh, injected molded foam. So the foam that is used over the knuckle area is a little bit on the cheaper side, um, obviously to keep costs down. Uh, but there's definitely some small, I would say slight improvements over the original uh, with the 2.0s compared to the original Contender. Now looking at this design wise, the first thing you'll notice is that there's a lot more of an emphasis on the foam over the hand compartment, at least to me compared to the originals. It doesn't have that angular kind of uh, balanced look. To me this looks more uh, kind of like a tie style glove where they put more of the emphasis on the hand compartment than they do in the wrist support. Uh, when you're looking at the designs, you know, obviously it's each to their own. So some people may like the look of these gloves, some may not. Um, I actually do like the camouflage design uh, with that maroon. It looks pretty cool to me. They also have kind of this checkered looking uh, design on the side right here. This check mark, should I say, uh, with the gold Venom logo right there. Um, you do have a three and a half inch Velcro strap as well and then it also has uh, where it says design in France high quality um, this side of the velcro strap I'll open it up to show you guys nothing too crazy there just a traditional velcro strap you would find in any basic boxing glove uh, polyester nylon liner you also have a venom tag as well as the weight and where it's manufactured uh, the wrist support is pretty thin um, I'd say maybe a quarter of an inch on the back of the wrist of medium density padding and very soft padding, about a quarter inch on the inside of the wrist. And uh, that goes all the way up to the palm and rotates over. So it kind of makes like a little bit of a U-turn on the palm area. So you do have that extra padding, but it's on the definitely on the more softer side. Um, the grip bar on here is a little bit on the smaller side. Um, no ventilated holes, which is kind of weird to not see any ventilated holes on the thumb or the palm. And then you also have a nylon attached thumb right there. Now quality wise these gloves are decent. Um, again it is entry level glove so to a certain degree you get what you pay for some of the stitching kind of poking out right there. Uh, the nylon strap that attaches for the attached thumb. Um, obviously injected molded foam. I've never been a big fan of it. Um, it's definitely more on the firm stiffer side. It's not like a multi-layer foam padding where you have a different degree of compression and feel to it. IMF is just one big piece of foam and that's pretty much all you're getting. Better for protection, not so much for feedback and pop in my opinion. Um, the good news is the, the glove was almost on weight for a 14 ounce glove. I believe the right glove is at 13.9 ounces and the left glove is at like 13.6, which is not bad. I mean, there's gloves out there like Reyes and some of these Mexican gloves are like two or three ounces overweight. So at least the, the gloves for the most part were almost on weight. It is a top heavy glove and that was something I was discussing earlier when it comes to the wrist support. It lacks wrist support in my opinion and because there's so much more foam towards the top of the glove you can see that it's pretty flimsy towards the midsection of the glove so I'm not a big uh, fan of that. Outside of that, the material that they use for the synthetic 
is standard venom. If you've ever had a pair of synthetic venom gloves, the same kind of polyurethane that's used in that is the same in this. Um, durability wise, it really just depends on you. I mean, if you use these gloves every day for rounds after rounds, sparring, hitting the bag, you're sweating in them, um, you're definitely gonna break these down a lot quicker than you would a traditional uh, leather glove, just because this material is not very friendly when it comes to moisture and salt. So both, you know, from your sweat, when you're sweating on this. So really it boils down to how often you're using these gloves uh, and how well you maintain them. If you let them air out, uh, those are all factors. But generally speaking, you're not going to get the same longevity in life out of this style of, of you know, um, kind of entry level synthetic glove that you would a genuine leather glove or a synthetic glove of a higher grade and the material is a lot thicker and just more durable um, so there you have it now comfort wise sliding your hand in here one improvement i feel that these have made over the original contenders is the hand compartment is a little, a little bit more ergonomic i feel that it conforms to my hand better the thumb positioning is better they also added like a little piece of canvas on the inner thumb that they didn't have in the, in the original so the thumb position is perfect the tip isn't too short so my, my thumb doesn't jam when i uh, make a fist with that and i do like the depth of the finger compartment as well as the width not too narrow not too wide just a perfect uh, you know width in the inside there you can feel the stitching on the inside there is a piece of neoprene in there um, but again for an entry level glove that's kind of expected um, wrist support is okay obviously the velcro strap does what it needs to do but you can see because of how soft this material is uh, the velcro strap basically just kind of folds over the padding on the inside of the wrist area so if you're looking for a glove that has a ton of wrist support or you have a wrist injury i would definitely make sure to one either get yourself a different pair of gloves than these or if you do have these then tape off your wrist really well before you start using these gloves um, so i mean the comfort is definitely there compared to the originals and i think that's going to be the biggest thing um, the next thing is going to be uh, your uh, protection and uh, the performance of these gloves because it's molded foam you definitely get a good amount of shock absorption i'm not a big fan of the rounded the rounded punch surface i've never been a big fan of that but it does its job as far as absorbing shock um, you can see that the hand can open and close fairly easily uh, and i again i feel like it's a little bit more improved over the original contenders um, and again more of a shock absorbing glove not a glove this is a puncher style or something that you're going to get a lot of feedback from uh, so do keep that in mind cost wise it fluctuates so depending on the model you get uh should i say or should i say the colorway you get excuse me um i've seen different prices and venom is kind of notorious for that if you go on their website you may see like an all black pair of these for like 25 bucks and then if you get this particular model they might be 44 dollars. so there's really a price range depending on the size and colorway you get with the contender 2.0 so they're all the same glove you're just paying either less or more depending on the size and the design you get. So um, I've seen anywhere between like $25 because Venom always does sales throughout the year, um, all the way to 44 bucks for this, this design. It just depends on what you get, uh, which is relatively a fair price for this glove. Obviously it's entry level, so um, you kind of get what you pay for, but compared to the other gloves, I'd say it's right up there in the top five for a um, you know a, an entry level glove that's made of synthetic that uses an injected molded foam um, i would have to get all my uh, budget gloves together and see where this this gloves ranks but i definitely say if you can get it like for around 25 to 40 bucks um, then it's definitely a fair deal all things considered with the comfort level you know injected molded foam and the small features that it does have for the uh, the price that you're getting it at so if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Venom Contender 2.0 boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.